I was 48 years old, working hard, raising my family. Woke up on a Friday morning and um, had severe chest pain right in the middle of my chest. Within an hour, I was at Lawrence General Hospital being treated for a heart attack. They sat me up on the table and showed me the big screen TV uh, with my heart on it. And I had three blockages. I was 95, 95, and 75% blocked. They sent me via ambulance to Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, where that Monday morning, I had a triple bypass operation. He was lucky that he had his warning symptoms. He was very quickly diagnosed by physicians who sent him promptly for surgery here. We were able to reroute the blood flow around the blocked heart arteries and uh, give him a better life. I was just so humbled by, uh, and literally, it sounds a little cliche and corny, but I was just in awe. Like I was sitting in this bed and I'm watching these people come in and out that don't know me at all, and they're just making sure that I'm okay and that I'm gonna get through it. We treat every patient as if he was one of our own family members, and we try to give them the best experience possible at a very difficult time. It just really woke me up. I feel like I was just on autopilot in my life. So I had a very stressful job. I was overweight. I was not doing any exercise at all. I was eating just terrible. So I had all the risk factors, and I had a family history of heart disease. When I got home and started the recovery, it really did start to sink in. It is a new normal and you have to get used to not being that person you were before. And there were times where I felt like I can't even walk up one flight of stairs without putting my hands on my knees and getting rest. Now I can climb 10 flights of stairs and I feel fine. Dr. Kabaz and his team fixed me, they gave me new plumbing and I feel fantastic. Hey Doc, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Doug's outlook is beautiful. He looks healthier than ever. He's smiling, he's not afraid, he's positive, and rightly so. He feels like he's conquered this uh, disease. Good, do some bike riding, some hiking. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized, you know, how lucky I was and how that operation gave me a new chance at, at life. That's when I started to say, okay, I need to be like those people and start helping others in some way. And that's when I got involved with the American Heart Association. Mm -hmm.